Hello students. Today we will learn data representation in computers. This is part of unit 1 computer science for class 11th. Before we learn about data representation, first we will understand that computer do not understand our language that is English language or the numbers digits these things do not understand directly okay it can understand only the binary numbers or binary digits binary means means 1 and 0 okay 1 means on and 0 means off only this type of numbers they can understand okay see here binary representation of data now how we can uh, represent binary numbers in our computer in order to work with data the data must be represented inside the computer okay so if you want to work with data the data must be represented inside the computer means it means that computer should understand the the data the, or the numbers or the things okay it can understand then only it can do our work okay Hmm. Today we will learn about all these things in this topic. Okay. Now digital computers represent data by means of easily identified symbols called digit. Okay, Using digit we can uh, represent data in our computer. See numbering system. What is this numbering system? Actually we are uh, we use decimal number system decimal number system which is having 0 to 9 total number of digits total 10 digits decimal number system 0 to 9 okay if we count you from 0 to 9 it will come 10 digits now computer do not understand this uh, 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 decimal number system computer can understand only binary number system so uh in place of uh, by a decimal number system and binary number system how many types of number systems are there in, in in the in the computer's world or in the world of in the world of numbers see here first of all each number system has a base called radix hmm. it means there are so many types of number systems so many number systems okay and each number system has a base has a base called its radix a decimal number system is a base of 10 see here a decimal number system is a base of 10 and binary is a system of base 2 binary is a system of base 2 here base means base 10 is given for decimal number system because decimal number system is having a total number of digits 10 digits that's why it is having 10 decimal number system okay now binary number system is given a base 2 that's why it is called binary number system because there are only two digits that is 0 and 1 that's why it is it is having the base number 2 now another number system is known as octal okay and it is the base of having 8 total number of 8 digits are there and that number system is known as octal number system and one more we will learn in this topic in this uh, today's topic that is the hexadecimal number system hexadecimal number system which is having a base number base 10, 16 and there are total number of 16 digits to represent a number in our computer's world okay now uh, when we count up to the maximum number that the number system allows is called the base of that number so uh, the radix or the base is also can be defined like this if we if we count up to the maximum number that the number system allows is called the base of the number system in base 10 we can count from 0 to 9 that is total number of 10 digits and now what happened to other number system see here in binary number system there are the base is 2 and total number of digit is 0 and 1 in octal number system uh, okay see here total number of uh, the base is 8 and total number of digit is z, uh, uh, 8 okay total number of digit is also 8 here from 0 to 7 if we count you here it will count 
it will become 8 total number of digits no decimal number system decimal number system is having the base 10 having the base 10 and total number of digit is here 10 digits and from 0 to 9 okay now one more uh, decimal uh, when more number system is that is hexadecimal number system which is having total number of uh, digit 16 and also its base is known as 16 so how the total um, total 16 digits comes here uh, first it takes from 0 to 9 total 10 digits and for another 6 digits we use alphabet scores that is a b c d e and f so it becomes total number of 16 digits that is known as hexadecimal number system understood so many types of number system is there and each each number system is having a base and the base number represents the total number of digits available in that number system now converting numbers from one base to another now we will learn how we can convert from one base to another number suppose some number some uh, binary number is there see here one zero okay one zero one this is a binary number now how can we understand that uh, which number is it represents okay in uh, we know only the decimal number system and here binary number system number is given like this in binary number system then how can we understand so to understand this which uh, what is the number this represents in decimal number system we have to convert it in our number system that is decimal number system this is the binary number system and we have to convert this number in our decimal number system then only we can understand that how much this number represents see to convert the binary number to a decimal number certain methods are there certain steps are there and we have to follow those steps see here first uh, first write the uh, write the this write the binary number and from rightmost bit bit means each number of digit is known as bit okay from rightmost bit start from the rightmost bit and take that bit take one bit from the rightmost side and multiply that bit or that digit with 2 to the power n and where n is the current position beginning at 0 okay from we have to multiply that number the rightmost number suppose in this case okay this one one is the rightmost digit and this digit is multiplied by 2 to the power n how just 1 into 2 to the power n and what is the n n will begin from 0 from 0 that is power 0 okay like this we have to obtain and increasing by one each time now for next digit we have to again multiply this 2 to the power n and the value of n must be increased by one okay now this represents the power of two now some after doing all the numbers now sum each terms of product until all bits have been used after doing this what we have to do we have to sum each term of the product until all the bits have been used okay see here example example one convert the binary number 10101 to its decimal equivalent now what we have to done from rightmost bit we have taken like this 1 into 2 to the power 0 then plus 1 into 2 to the power 1 then plus 0 into 0 into 2 to the power 2 then plus 1 into 2 to the power 3 then 0 into 2 to the power 4 and 1 into 2 to the power 5 now it what it becomes it becomes like this after doing this okay now it uh, this number 10101 will become 43 in decimal number system okay see here example 2 convert the binary number 1001 to its decimal equivalent or again we have to take the rightmost bit and multiply it by 2 to the power 0 then multiply it by 2 to the power 1 then 2 to the power 2 and 2 to the power 3 then after adding all the numbers it becomes 9 in decimal number it means that hmm, 10101 
is equals to 43 in our number system and here 1001 equals to 9 in our number system this is the method to convert binary number system to decimal number system now come to binary fraction to decimal now we are going to convert binary fraction number to decimal number system suppose we are having some fractional number means the numbers which are having some decimal parts so to convert a binary number which is having a decimal part to a decimal number uh, see here what is uh, how we can do this we know that um, to convert a binary number what we have to do we have to take the rightmost bit rightmost digit and then multiply it by 2 to the power n and uh, the value of n must be started with the value 0 now see again next 1 is multiplied by 2 to the power 1 then uh, 0 is multiplied by 2 to the power 2 like this we have to multiply similarly like this now after this point okay after this point value what we have to do we have to multiply the value the digit the and the bit by 2 to the power minus 1 value 2 to the power minus 1 then minus 2 minus 3 like this we have to go in a negative negative uh, side okay and then we have to obtain the value like this see here what we have done we have first uh, from right side uh, 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 before decimal places we have to multiply the number digit 2 to the power 0 see here 2 to the power 0 2 to the power 1 then 2 to the power 2 to the power 3 to the power 4 and after decimal plus 2 to the power minus 1 to the power minus 2 and 2 to the power 3 minus 3 like this now but after doing all the calculation we have to some uh, add all the numbers now see here what uh, what it comes it comes 16 8 then 2 1 and then 0 0.5 if we multiply to the power minus 1 to 1 then it will become 0 0.5 then here 0 because it is it is multiplied by 0 anything is multiplied by 0 becomes 0 and then this number now after doing all the calculation the decimal number for this equivalent is this okay this is the best number 10 it is how much it is it is 27.625 and how we have done all these things we have done by using this method just to now we are going to convert now uh, vice versa means in uh, opposite direction decimal to binary number suppose we are having some decimal number and then we want to convert that decimal number to binary number how um, uh, how we can represent a decimal number in a binary representation then this is the method see here what is the method method to convert a decimal number into its binary equivalent first what is this divide the decimal number by 2 what we have to do first we have to divide the decimal number by 2 and then take the remainder the remainder we have to divide first then remainder we have to take and record it on the side okay then again divide the quotient by 2 okay always for binary number we have to divide by 2 okay repeat until the decimal number cannot be divided further means we have to continuously dividing the number decimal number by 2 each time and recording mm, recording the remainder each time and then again uh, dividing the quotient value by 2 and repeating this process okay repeating this process uh, then uh, what happens the number become as less that it cannot be divided by 2 further then at that time what we have to do hmm, record the remainders in reverse order and you will get the resultant binary number hmm. now see the example we will do all these things in an example here 
convert the decimal number 125 into its binary equivalent okay into its binary 125 to binary this is in decimal number and we have to convert the binary number see what we have done what is the process here first we have to put like this number 125 and we have to divide the number by 2 then uh, 2 6 the 12 and 2 2 the 4 okay 62 it comes and the remainder will be remain it will become if we multiply 62 to 2 62 by 2 multiplied 62 by 2 then it will become 124 124 now 124 is divided and remainder 1 is retained here okay this is the remainder now see here again the 62 the value 62 we have got the cushion value here this cushion value is again divided by 31 and remainder it will become 0 because no 31 into 2 equals to 62 then remainder is no no remainder is uh, rest okay so 0 is there then 2 15s are 30 then one remainder is here 2 7s are 14 then one remainder again 2 3s are 6 then one remainder again 2 2s are mm, 2 1s are 2 sorry here 2 1s are 2 then one remainder is here now okay see one is not there two ones are two and then one remainder is here so the number is like this answer is like this in reverse order okay from reverse order we have to take all the numbers one 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 okay one 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 five one and then zero and one not how much 125 which is in base 10 okay it will become one 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 zero one this is in decimal okay this is the answer understood we have to uh, we have to make table like this okay and put the number here suppose 16 we have want to convert 16 then what we have to do we have to um, divide this uh, number by 2 2 8 is a 16 then we have to put here 8 here 8 cushion is here and remainder is not 0 0 will be remainder then again what we have to do 2 4 is a 8 then again no remainder then 2 2 is a 4 okay then again no remainder okay then 2 1 is a 2 okay and remainder is no nothing okay now recording in reverse order the equivalent number for 16 will be like this 1 0 0 0 0 this will be the equivalent for in binary for 16 the decimal number 16 okay this will be the answer understood we have to divide like this then it will be converted to decimal number binary number now converting decimal fraction to binary Fractional. Suppose we have any fraction number, then we can convert that fractional number to binary also. We, here we have taken 0 0.75, which is a decimal number, and it will be converted to binary number. So, see how we can convert. What is the method? First, we have to understand the method. What we have to do? We have multiply. We have to multiply the given fraction by two. Here we have to multiply to obtain decimal fraction number into binary then we have to multiply not to divide Okay, uh, if we have any integer numbers And we have to convert to it binary then we have to divide but here if decimal Fractional number is there then we have to multiply that number by 2 and then keeping the integer in the product as it is and multiply the new fraction by 2 Okay, what? if whatever the value will come the we have to keep the integer at a side okay and then the remaining fraction we have to again multiply by 2 and continue to this process up to the required number of decimal places or till we get zero in the fractional part okay then recording each the integer 
from top to bottom here we have to take from top to bottom not in reverse order we have to sequentially we have to take the number in the fractional number from top to bottom like this then there we have get we will get the actual number see how we can do like this the given fraction is 0 0.75 okay now integer becomes 0 now we have what we have done we have multiplied 0 0.25 to 2 then it become 1.50 now this one this integer value 1 will be recorded here 1 okay will be recorded here and then the 50 the remaining 0 0.50 will be again multiplied by 2 then it will become 1.00 now integer become here the integer part we have to take all the integer wire again and again and this is the integer part so, so from reading from top to bottom 0.75 in decimal number will become 0.11 in binary number system and this is the answer understood if you not understood see again here yes suppose we have 0.75 this number then what we have to do we have to multiply it by 2 okay then what it will become will become 1.50 then what we have to do we have to record this number this one to here one we have to record okay then this point point five zero we have to take again point five zero okay we have to take it again and multiply two then what it become it become one point zero zero then this integer we have to take again one now from top to bottom we have we will see that one and one two value will come here and then add zero in front this will be the number which is equivalent in binary for 0 0.75 which is in decimal number okay understood yes converting decimal fraction to binary okay see again we are taking uh, next example but here we have we are taking the integral part also and the decimal part also both part we are taking now 105 the integral part we have converted using the divide method dividing method okay how we can do this by using 105 here and then dividing this number by 2 okay now 5 and 2 52 here remainder 1 like this we have to continue 2 to the 2 to the 4 and 2 6 the 12 okay no 0 then again 2 divide then 13 it will come and then again 0 likewise if we divide all the number and record in reverse order the number will be like this okay this is no uh, this time we are taking 0 0.15 okay uh, the decimal part of this number and converting this number or just first we have to multiply that number c in bigger picture first what we have to do we have to multiply 0 0.15 by 2 to obtain 0 0.030 okay and the integer value is 0 here no integer value then 0 will be we have to take then 0 0.30 by 2 0 0.60 0, 0 again then 0 0.60 multiplied by 2 it become 1.20 here now the integer number 1 will be obtained here okay only 2.0 we have to take and multiplied by 2 4 0 then 4 0 multiplied by 2 0 0.80 integer 0 0 we have taken and here 0 0.80 by 2 1.60 then 1 is we have taken here because it becomes 1.60 so, so the integer part is 1 here so one we have taken reading the integers from top to bottom top to bottom the 0 0.5 1 5 will become 0 0.001001 0 0 0 1 0 0 1 okay decimal part like this in binary equivalent now after combining the above 
this number 105 and uh, 0.15 now the number will become like this this will be the equivalent of 105.15 which is in decimal number and in binary number this number will become like this 1101001.001001 okay this is the now we have to understand how we can convert a binary number to decimal number then binary fractional number to decimal fraction number then decimal number to binary number and then decimal fraction number to binary number okay binary to decimal vice versa we have understood how we can convert both the numbers and if any number is written in a binary number we can now understand how much number it will represent in decimal number system in our number system now so uh, do the exercises okay thank you